Dr. Kamov, I would like to talk to you about dentures. There's a lots of people wearing dentures, 40, 50 million or so. And um, people don't like dentures because they get loose eventually. They have to put that gluey gum in it. And they're worried about losing their teeth when they smile at a you know, Thanksgiving dinner and, and stuff like that or at a party. Um, hard to chew on apples and stuff like that because it, it's just not nice. Now, there's this new thing called implant-supported denture. And um, some people say that this is, um, you know, the eight world wonder. It's phenomenal. Tell us about it. Is it number one true? How does it work? Why is it so much better? It is a phenomenon because a lot of people uh, don't like dentures in a way that it doesn't uh, feel as regular teeth because they cannot bite into apple as before, they cannot eat their steak as before, they cannot enjoy their food as before. Uh, so those implants were created to keep the denture in place so people feel more comf comfortable with the denture in place. They are more confident that once they bite into an apple, it's not the denture will not end up in the apple instead of apple in the mouth, and uh, they feel more comfortable. They they taste their food better. They can smile with more confidence, and uh, they can enjoy their life as before. And how? What's the principle behind uh, an implant supported denture? How 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 does it how does it work? Why? Uh, uh, you know, g give me the big umbrella picture of how it works, how it's clinically done. The implants are placed, uh, two to four implants are placed uh, in a patient's mouth, uh, and there are a key, it's like a male-female attachment with an indenture and an implant. So it clicks in and locks itself in the mouth, and whenever you need to remove it, just unclick it and it comes off. I see. So I assume that a tremendous, I mean, in the past, nothing else was around than the denture. Uh, but now for the last whatever years where implant supported denture is, is, is always around. So anyway, I assume that people use a denture because of price versus implant, because everybody knows a denture isn't so good. Implant would be better, but it's a huge amount of money to put uh, a, a half a dozen or a dozen, uh, you know, teeth in it. You know what I mean? Now, uh, let me ask you, so basically an implant-supported denture has two or maybe three or four implants in it. Obviously, each implant costs some money. So, and probably two implants uh, is still a little more shaky than three, I assume, because if I, you know, a bicycle and with two wheels versus with a little bit of a training wheel on it, it holds better. Am I right there? That's right. That's so, right. So let's assume a patient... Uh, Let's talk money. A patient doesn't have money. Um, can he start with, I need to get a normal denture, but let's plan it so that in three months or in six months, I can put two implants in it. And then two, three, six months later, I can put another one or two implants in it. And I am like, you know, building my way up the way we maybe decorate most of us. People, when we get married, that's how we decorate our house or move up from an apartment to a house to, you know, and then the house is empty and then we put furniture in it. And, you know, eventually we have what we kind of like think we want to have. Um, can a person do that with an, with an implant supported denture? Absolutely. Uh, we can start just with the denture without the implant. The patient will see that the, the, dent, the denture is not as... Uh, comfortable in the mouth because it doesn't have a good support. So we start with two implants. Uh, he gets a better support, but we explain that in his case or her case, it is better to have three or four implants to have a proper support and indenture so the patient doesn't have to worry about a denture coming off, coming out. So, uh, but if it is financially hard for the patient, we start slowly. We start with two and then add another one and then add another one. Anytime we can add a, a special attachment to the denture for that implant, it's not Beautiful. a problem. Beautiful. And is it possible that some people who already have a denture, um, as long as I guess it's not super worn out and already super bad, right. uh, that they come to you and then you can actually put a couple implants in it um, on that same denture or... Um, does it have? Is, 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 does it as require long, a different model? 
as long as the fitting of the denture is good, then we can place implants with the same denture, yes. I see. Well, obviously, an implant-supported denture, so you're really saying you can bite in on an apple, you can chew on a spare rib, and for all purposes, that's all you can do with normal teeth. So you are saying no more worrying and holding your hand in front when you laugh and when you, no, no more of that. You're socially, completely, no more of that. beautifully acceptable. Exactly. And no that, more gooey stuff coming off your mouth. Ah. It's hard to clean out. In yes. fact, I, in fact, there was just an, uh, a, a news, there's currently a, a news investigation going on or an investigation going on which made it in the news <laughs> where that gluey stuff seems to be um, uh, full of chemicals and um, there's this one thing which is actually a good thing but it, it, if you have too much of it, uh, sink, um, then uh, it, apparently some people get um, uh, actually nerve damage from it. It's not proven. And I'm sure the glue it's companies... It's not proven yet, but it is not proven yet, so I cannot discuss it in more details, but all those glues, all those um, creams that hold the denture in, it's not comfortable for the patient. It does right. the, hold the denture in, but whenever you need to remove it or clean it out from your mouth, it's very uncomfortable, very hard to do. Right. And that's gone. When you have an implant-supported denture, that's gone. It's gone. You don't use it at all. Gorgeous. And of course, you can make the, in, the, the denture like you would be a veneer or luminaire. You can fit it to the person's, uh, so he, he or she looks uh, just absolutely gorgeous, right? Absolutely, yes. Well, wonderful. And what about tasting the food? You did say something that you can taste the food more. It, you know, the normal denture has this... Uh, suction on the top of the of the palate uh, which basically inhibits because that's where we taste the food um so with an implant supported denture is that part of it gone or is it still there it... for the top denture no it is still there but because it it has that uh suction in all the time it you uh you you can still feel taste the food better because your tongue also has taste buds and so you can um, still taste the food normal and not worry about the food getting under the denture I got it. where it gets very, very annoying. I got it. Wonderful. Thank you very much.